Hey everyone, welcome to Three Crosses Farrier Company. I'm Caleb, and I'm going to be walking you through trimming a draft horse today. In my last few videos, I made the mistake of calling this horse Dakota, and it's not actually her name. Her name is Lakota. Okay. I'm just brushing out the bottom of the foot so I can kind of see a little better. And right. then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to trim the frog. And I'm tri opening up the commissure. The commissure is the, the portion between the frog and the sole of the foot or the hoof. And we open those up, kind of clean them up. These horses weigh so much that their frogs tend to like mushroom out and, and blow up all over the foot. And if you leave them alone, they will literally grow across the foot. Right. And then they trap dirt and bacteria underneath them. And that causes us a whole nother problem. Here I'm cutting out the bars. I'm using GEs. I love my GEs, they work great. She was fighting me a little bit here, and that's due to the fact that it takes me around 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes on a regular trim on, on, on a normal horse. On a draft horse, it takes anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, there's just a lot more hoof there. And, it, and, and these draft horses, right. it's like trimming five horses, doing one of them. They're, they're that big. It's just sheer weight is is it's hard to explain what it's like it, unless you've held one. One of the things you'll notice here is I'm trimming trimming the heels. In the last video, I had a gentleman ask me why I trim the heels uh, when he thought that I should get more angle if I left the heels. Well, a horse doesn't strictly grow down. They grow down and forward. They grow out. And so if we don't trim those heels, that, that, that heel will begin to move forward on the foot. And so... In some cases, your heel will pass the apex of the foot, which is the widest point. And what we want, actually, is we want the apex, the widest point of the foot, and then we want the heels to come clear back to almost behind the frog. And that's because that now the heel is actually supporting the rest of the hoof. Um, working on the frog, there's two functions of the frog. One is to cushion the foot as they walk. And the other function is to help pump blood. We have a saying that a horse has five hearts, one in each foot and one in their body. They do not have good circulation as you get further and further down their leg. So the frog actually assists in pumping blood back up the leg. Super important. So a healthy frog on a horse is, is paramount to the rest of the hoof health. And these drafts actually have great frog. The, on a horse that's been... Not trimmed in a while, way too long. A lot of times their frog will atrophy, which also means they're not getting proper circulation to the foot. Here I'm just going to clean up the heel a little bit. I'm taking out, right. just doing a little finish work. Right. Now I'm going to start on the outside of the foot. I'm going to take my vet wrap, which I've discussed in other videos, and I'm going to move those feathers out of the way. Uh, and a couple of comments was that I should call them fe a feather, and they're not feathers. I've always called them feathers. I'm going to keep calling them feathers because they have four legs and there's one on each, so they're feathers. Um, I'm going to use my nippers. Generally, I don't use my nippers when, I, when they're up on the stand like this because I've already done enough work on the bottom. But again, these have a ton of flare and a lot of, and a lot of hoof wall. Um, the other thing that's interesting about horses is that they have a 60 40 weight ratio so 60 percent of their weight is on the front two feet 40 percent of it is on the back right so we don't see the backs being as flared as often as we do the fronts a lot of your flare and problems you come wonder in the how front many of because the that's that they where do the weight's being dis are displaced i'm just going to clean up that that area right there because they made money on it so you kind of she's still got a little bit of deformity we're working through that it just oh, takes a long time to grow the foot out. It takes about a year to grow from coronary band huh? to tip of the toe. Yeah. Cut that off. Clean it up. Now here at the end of the video, we have a little bonus. Uh, we're going to have some footage of Lakota, not just her feet. And this is Lakota. She weighs a little over 1,800 pounds. Hold her up there. Hope you like the video. Like and subscribe. Let us know what you think.